So in this video, I am going to put together this Build-A-Figure and look at some of these other action figures from this wave. This is the, the Captain Marvel wave. And uh, I trade with a friend, uh, Marvel Legends figures. So I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be interested in the build figure. So I'm going to send him the parts when I'm done. And one of these figures, and I'm keeping the rest of the figures. So that's how this is going to play out. But uh, I'm going to review all of them except this one here. And I'm going to review what this build a figure looks like when it's done all right so let's do this now I got this whole wave at once at uh, Ollie's and much cheaper than the than the uh, usual price and I'm glad I kind of held out the only figure I had ever bought from this was um, oh what was it it was this figure right here that came with this leg so when this is all said and done I'll have the whole wave I actually really just liked this figure and I also bought the Captain Marvel with the cat that you you might remember so um, which is this figure right here so I'll set these aside and let's just start so I'm, when this is all said and done I will, I will have the whole wave of Captain Marvel. This is Jan Rog. Um, he was the character played by Jude Law in Captain Marvel. Um, I guess Jude Law didn't allow his likeness to be used, so we didn't get an alternate head. Despite the fact that in the movie we saw Jude Law's face a lot more than like this. But it's uh, very similar to... Well, it's, it's the same style uniform as we see on Captain Marvel, but she changed the colors, obviously. And I'm going to read the description of the character real quick. It says, um, He's a leader of the Star Force team. Yon Rog is a hero among the Kree and key asset to the Supreme Intelligence in the war against the Skrulls. Okay. And the only accessory he comes with besides the build a figure part is this gun. Once I get this gun in his hand, I'm probably never going to take it out again. Okay. And uh, let's talk about the figure a little bit. Uh, Marvel Legends always have the same articulation for the most part, with few exceptions. And the articulation is fantastic. The special things about this figure are his wrist braces. The metallic paint, the unique blaster, or or laser pistol, whatever that is, it's it's quite unique. It reminds me somewhat of the um, this one, but uh, it's it's detailed and it looks good. He looks good holding it. Smooth articulation. I think that might be something he'd look at. I can't remember in the movie if that was. But you can get him into these really great poses. That's the, the bottom line. These, these figures have amazing poses that you can get. 
that's what makes Marvel Legends figures so special. And that's, of course, why we're here. Let's talk about the Builder figure. And um, I'm not sure if this is the left or the right leg, so let's find out. Because Talos here is number two. So, number two. So, this is this leg. And it snaps on. And now we have a leg on this figure. This is going to be huge when it's done. And we're going to take a good look at it. It feels very solid already, huh? unlike the DC Builder figures. So let's put uh, him over here with the collection so far. Now, on this Captain Marvel figure, I'm not going to take the figure out, but I am going to take out the build figure part. Just like this. It's back. that side so here we have an arm Okay, and that's what the arm looks like in it. Okay, it's getting pretty big. All right, next is Talos. Uh, I really like this character. He was played by Ben Mendelsohn in the movie, an actor I really like. Um, it says, Talos, perhaps the most cunning spy and all the Scroll Empire is a master of shape-shifting and intergalactic espionage. An integral leader in the bitter Kree Scroll War, the fearsome Talos will do whatever it takes to protect his own. And I believe he turned up in Spider-Man? Far From Home? So I don't think we've seen the last of the Scroll Kree combat. So let's look at Talos first. Uh, he has a soft uh, coat that is kind of flexible, but also it's going to restrict some of his movement. He's a very cool looking figure and he feels good. He, he uh, has a good feel to him. But he's he's lacking some of the articulation that you're, you come to expect from Marvel Legends. And you're kind of afraid to moving around too much less this will come undone and I'm not sure well it looks like it does snap undone yeah it does so this coat can be removed probably need to take the the head off and the arm off to remove it and you could have them like that and it looks like underneath however it doesn't look like they did any uh they have articulation here so if you wanted to but i would actually just leave it on because he looks much better with the coat on and these things are devil to
there we go. They're kind of the devil to get back in, but I'd like him better with the coat on. His hands are in, in a pretty good pose, so you can, like he's explaining something. <laughs> That great Marvel Legends articulation with the ankle movements, the kneecaps. These are just really brilliant figures. And look at the facial sculpt. Very well. The paint is good. That's why these figures are so popular. Very fine figure. And now, let's put the other leg on. Wow, this thing's gonna be huge. Next, let's look at uh, Grey Gargoyle. And it says, um, Dr. Paul Duvall discovers his ability to turn his body to stone and becomes the transmuting mercenary gray gargoyle. And kind of like reminds me of the thing a little bit. Or the other stone rock character from um, Thor Ragnarok. Um, so we got another rock character. This is a cool, kind of a waxy feel on um, translucent. And the, with the plastic, it has sort of a stony feel to it, which is very cool. Even his cape is this texture. Look at his face. The cape, uh, it looks like, I'm, I'm just going to keep it, I, I, I bet you could take it off, there's probably snaps, but I usually don't like to fool with these things, because once you take it off, you can never get it back on the right way, if you want to pose it, and I think he needs to be posed with that cape on. He has one hand open for, like, grabbing another character's throat or something, and he has one fist for punching. Sort of pinstripes on his boots, which also have toes, and on his uh, gauntlets. Just this maniacal face with this kind of crew cut. Look how look at his teeth, and look how well this was painted. The little sl the little slits for eyes. It's just really, really well done. This is a fantastically artistic figure. And the very small head. For the Cree Sentry. And it's almost done. We have one more part to add. And then we can test it. See how well it articulates. How it measures up. It's a big figure though. The last figure is Nick Fury. He comes with Goose the Cat, another version of Goose. This is one that I held out for, and I'm glad that I waited for the price to drop. But uh, I definitely wanted to get this at some point. Let's take a look at Nick Fury, his gun, and it looks like he can hold Goose by the scruff of the neck. Oh boy. 
First, let's look at the figure and admire that great likeness to Samuel L. Jackson. This is the young Nick Fury. The only problem I have with it is the paint, as you can see on its head, is not very good. But that's forgivable. I mean, for half price, I'm not going to complain too much to finally own this Nick Fury. His tie. He's wearing his business suit. And inside, you can see the shoulder holster for his pistol. Unfortunately, I don't think it's usable. On the other side, there's the other part of it. Like I said, I don't think you can actually put the pistol in there, which kind of stinks, but that's okay. Because he can hold the pistol. Let's take a look at that. It's fairly detailed, but not super detailed. It's all molded in one color. Now I'm going to see how this is supposed to be held. There is a place for a thumb and I wonder if it's this hand. I think that's his gun hand. But he holds, he holds Goose better with this hand, and then the pistol, I don't know, Samuel Jackson left-handed? I don't think so. I think this is how it's supposed to be held, because it snaps just perfectly in there. The other hand just doesn't hold it as well. Which kind of stinks because um, you would want him to be able to hold the gun on one hand and, and goose in the other, but that's okay. It's, you can still get him in a great pose. I mean, that's, that's just awesome. And if you haven't seen the movie... Don't be alarmed by the way Goose is all handcuffed and everything. They did the bad guys did that because he was actually the most dangerous of all of the group. Goose is a not really a cat but a powerful alien, and it was done for comic for comedic effect. Also note that he's wearing uh, shoes and socks, which is a cool touch instead of boots. He's wearing polished business shoes. And this black suit, it almost reminds me a bit of Pulp Fiction. You could almost make yourself a Jules, a Jules uh, custom figure with this. Because of the suit. I mean, it's, it's just the exact same suit from Pulp Fiction. Now let's uh, put this last piece. All right, and now we have a complete, this is this is a Cree Sentry, and I'm, I, and I'm trying to remember if we saw this in the movie. I only watched Captain Marvel one time, and I don't remember seeing the Kree Sentry. But he is a, an impressive builder figure. He's huge, so let's compare him. I mean, he's huge. That is like a Hulk-sized figure. That is it.
really big. Let me get a sip of coffee here. But the figure itself, I'm I'm not. I don't really like it that much, so that's why I'm trading it to a friend. But it's still a cool figure. I mean, there's no denying it. This figure is pretty impressive. I mean, this thing is huge. Probably worth a lot on eBay because um, build a figures are obviously rare. I mean, for every one of the these that come out, you know, only a quarter of these come out. So, um, but unlike the DC build a figure, this one is is much more solid. It has better articulation. All of the plastic is the same standard as um, the other Marvel Legends figures. So, I was really disappointed with my Killer Croc uh, DC Multiverse figure. Now, I'm going to do another Build-A-Figure review later in a few days for the Hulk. And I'm keeping that one. And uh, that's the one I really want. This is still nice. It's awfully big. But I think I'm still going to keep the two arms and the head because uh, my friend has those two parts. I'll send him the torso and the legs. And then I might, if I can find them cheap on eBay, I might get the arms and head for myself and just finish this. Uh, but only if it's a good deal. Like I said, I'm, this is not one I really, really like that much. It had to be a really cheap deal on eBay. So this is the whole wave. Minus... Um, the flying Captain Marvel, but I have this one already, and they had it there, and it's so similar to this one. In fact, it's practically the same figure that I just decided not to get it because, I mean, I mean I've got essentially everything I need. Uh, so um, this one I like better. Oddly enough, I've this I've kind of grown attached to it. So um, this is the way I like my uh, full-on Captain Marvel. But, with the exception of that, this is the entire wave. And, all of them I found at Ollie's except for this one right here, which they, thank goodness I already had. And I think this is probably one of the coolest ones. This character is called Genisville. And uh, he's just a very, very cool. He has the star-like pattern on his skin. He has the unique blaster. He has the working holster. Um, the sort of Spartan helmet. Stoic face. Uh, just a, a really cool figure. The bracelets, it's very, very well put together. For Marvel Legends collecting, this is one that I really like. My second favorite one from this wave is got to be Nick Fury, and uh, and and Goose the Cat in this configuration. It's a tie with this one, with the unfettered Goose and Captain Marvel with her her uh, flight jacket on, which I really like. I like this one a lot. This was the first one I got from the whole wave. Then. It would have to be this one, Talos. And then I think Grey Gargoyle. And then finally, uh, 
I, my biggest problem with this figure is it doesn't have a Jude Law face. So it, it that makes it kind of look generic. Still a nice figure. There's one more Captain Marvel figure I'd like to get, and that's the one where she's wearing this green outfit. I kind of like that one too, but I only saw it one time, and it was kind of pricey. So uh, if I run across it, and if it's at a really cheap price, I might get it. Do you like this one a lot? I think I just like the the late the costume with the symbol on it and everything. I like that very much. This guy is pretty cool. Kind of looks like the Iron Giant a little bit, doesn't he? Kind of a click in his torso. I guess because he's so bulky, they might have uh, reinforced it a little bit. Can't get him sense in my life. There we go, I got him on a stand. Wow, that was an achievement. This might make a good thumbnail picture. Okay, so that's, uh, there we go, the uh, Kree Sentry figure, uh, surrounded by the wave of Captain Marvel, that's slight variant, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've got another Build-A-Figure video coming up next week, so if you're interested in these, let me know, and I'll keep making them. In the meantime, keep watching, click the bell icon. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Forgot this guy was sitting out here.